for God so greatly loved the world that he gave his only unique begotten son that whosoever believes in, trusts in, clings to, relies on him, him shall not perish but have eternal, everlasting life. For, for God, God so greatly loved. My name is Susan Jones. I'm 16 years old. And to be honest, my life's been just one big mess. About three months ago, I found that I'm pregnant. I was hoping my parents would be supportive. It took a lot of guts not to have an abortion. But they put me out as a disgrace. My friends have deserted me. I feel as if even God has deserted me. I wonder if there even is a God. No one cares about me. No one. My name is Stephen Cook, and I'm 16. Two years ago, my parents were granted a divorce. It certainly wasn't granted by me. When I was a kid, my dad used to come home from work, and we'd toss the ball around for hours. It was so special, that time that we shared. A few weeks ago, I saw him for the first time in about a year. He reached out his hand to me and said, how's it going, son? I just stared at him. He looked surprised that I didn't just throw my arms around him and say, it's going just great, Dad. Finally, I said, who do you think you are? You aren't my father. You gave up. I hate you. Why did I say that? I don't hate my father. I love him. My name is Teresa Madison. I'm 20 years old. I recently found out that I have a terminal blood disease and I'm not expected to live more than 18 months. But please don't feel sorry for me. You see, I thank God for using this experience to wake me up. I'm a hard-headed girl, yet through this disease, Jesus has made himself so real to me. I now know how precious my life has really been. Life as a servant of God is 10 times more fulfilling than the life of running away from him. I know this disease is far from terminal in God's eyes. Everlasting life means forever. For God so greatly loved the world that he gave his only unique begotten son that whosoever believes in, trusts in, clings to, relies on him, shall not perish but have eternal, everlasting life. For, for God, God so greatly loved, wife abuser, child molester, midnight cruiser, stock investor, honored marine, associate dean, chain smoker, junkie, Hash toker, flunky, congressional page, victim of AIDS. All, All souls, souls come, come clean. clean. John 3.16. And timeless story. A love story. The story of Hosea and his wife. And her name. The story's a whole lot better if you don't have to say her name. But her name is important. I know, but. Her name was Gomer. If there's a lesson to be learned from this story, it's don't name your daughter Gomer. No, there's a much greater lesson to be learned. Gomer was a prostitute. Hosea was a preacher. Not exactly the kind of match that you would find on eHarmony.com. But the internet wasn't around. God was the matchmaker. And, and Hosea, Hosea loves Gomer. Gomer. Have you seen my wife? Where? And he would search, but he wouldn't find her until he looked in the red light district of the Northern Kingdom. Despite her lying, despite her adultery, Hosea, Hosea loves Gomer. Gomer. Despite her cruelty, despite her sin, Hosea, Hosea loves Gomer. Gomer. Why don't you just leave me alone? I'm not good enough for you, and I can't live my life as a prophet's wife. Stop rescuing me, Hosea. But I love you. Listen to me. I don't care. You pull me out of bars, and I'm going to return to them sooner or later. Love isn't strong enough to hold me. I'm not the woman you dreamed I could be, am I? No, not now. You're a dreamer. But you're my wife. I'm not your wife. I quit. I give up. Can't you hear me? I hear you, but then I... leave me alone. But I love you. Do you have any pride? Do you have any self-respect? I have love. That wasn't the question. You're ruining my business, and your love is humiliating. I know it is. But it's all so strong. Hosea was a romantic in the purest form. Every fiber of his being was love. Every breath, every thought, 
Every moment was consumed by a God-given love for his wife. Like a madman to the world, he kept searching for this unrequited love. No one, not Shakespeare, Browning, nor Lennon, could write a song like Hosea lived. This romance was a nightmare. Hosea was a failure. Hosea, Hosea loved Gomer. Gomer. At the apex of this romantic catastrophe, we find Hosea once again searching the inner city for his wife. And off in the distance, he sees her. Captured and for sale on the auction block, she was an ugly sight. Bruised. Beaten. Naked. Humiliated. Destroyed. She had nothing. Hosea went back to his house and gathered all his possessions, all his money, all his food, and everything of value. And as the bidding began, he ran to the auction block and the auctioneer began. Who will give me five shekels for this woman? Five. Five it is. Do I hear seven? Seven it is. Do I hear ten? Ten. Ten it is. Do I hear twelve? Twelve it is. Do I hear fifteen? Fifteen it is. Fifteen going once, going twice. I'll give everything that I have. Silence. Silence. Hosea laid down all of his possessions, all of his money, all of his food, and everything of value. He covered her trembling, humiliated body. He picked her up and he carried her home. Paid in full. The romance of the ages. Solid as a rock. Godlike. With a God kind of love. Unheard of before this time. Before the time when God looked down upon the auction block of the cosmos and saw you and me. An ugly sight. Bruised. Beaten. Naked. Humiliated. Destroyed. Chained, chained and captured like, like an animal. animal. We had nothing. And before the bidding began. The earth quaked as God shouted. I'll give everything I have. And the hammer fell. And the ransom was laid down. Paid, paid in full. full. The romance of the ages. The romantic. Who gave birth to other romantics. Who loved regardless of circumstance. Despite lying. Despite cruelty. Despite adultery. Despite sin. Hosea so loved. God so loved. You are invited to partake in the romance of the ages. To enter into the very center of Christ's love. Totally loved. Totally forgiven. Totally free to love each other. As Christ loved us. The, the romance, romance of, of the, the ages. ages. God showed so much to us by sending his son and allowing him to die on the cross for our sins. In this act, we see what real love is. Dear friends, since God loved us this much, you surely ought to love likewise. Therefore, go, go and, and love, love likewise. likewise.